Hmm. Hello there. It is day nine, which makes it Tuesday, the 9th of June 2020. Vlogmist, back at it again. Okay. So, um, today was another, it was very similar to yesterday. Um, came home from work and put my clothes in the laundry, had a shower, sorted my lunch out, had a big dinner because I was like, if I have a big meal now, I'll be able to go work out later on and then I can have a small dinner so that'll enable me to go to bed earlier, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't have a full stomach, lying on a full stomach trying to get to bed. Um, and then even after even after that, as soon as I, as soon as I sit down, um, I just reach for my, for my phone, waste time, and then I end up falling asleep. The good news is, is I did, I did bring it back. It's the dating apps. It's the dating apps that are making me open the phone, which is really annoying because I actually, I'm, I'm looking for a relationship and there's no means of doing that at the moment during lockdown. So I have to do dating apps. But the dating apps are just making me way more fucking focused on my phone than I want to be. And it's really annoying me. However, put that to one side. I did go for a run today. Now, if you watch yesterday, you'll be like, hang on a second. You said that you'll be doing a yoga and a run Wednesday. But the weather for tomorrow isn't looking too great. It's it's going to be raining for tomorrow. And I'll rather run in, uh, you know, dry, dusty weather than um, soggy ground and raining and shit. So... Plus, I had the, I had like a, a desire, I had a desire to run, and I think <laughs> you got to take them as they come, because that doesn't happen often, I was like, fuck it, if I want to run, I want to run, I'll listen to my body and do it, so I've moved my abs and core workouts tomorrow, I'll still do yoga tomorrow, I'll start with yoga and I'll do abs and core, Um, but where I fell down earlier today, I'm going to have to take a seat. Where I fell down, it made me think while I was walking the dogs, okay, what if you do something that's way more traditionally like a vlog, instead of um, like a journal entry at, at the end of the day, like could do it like I'm doing now, what what if you, you video yourself throughout the day? Because instead of just holding yourself accountable at the end of the day and saying, oh, this day was a mixed bag, which, you know, has happened several times already and it's only day nine. Um, why don't I video myself throughout the day being like, waking up, doing this, now doing a workout, now doing my, my goal for the day, etc. Um, there's, there, there's pluses and minuses to that. I don't like the idea of doing like a daily vlog in the sense that I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm always whipping out my phone to video myself for a few reasons. One... Um, it's just kind of obnoxious to be eternally videoing yourself after you've done something or done an activity or during an activity. Um, I think it's a British thing. We just don't like the idea of having the focal point on ourselves all the time. It's just kind of obnoxious. But maybe I can forgive myself and work around it. I don't know. Also, um, I don't want to be on my phone all the time. I don't want to feel like I have to open my phone up and video myself um, because that is the exact opposite of what I want to do. I want to be able to distance myself from my phone, only check my phone maybe a couple of times a day to check for notifications that are actually important to me, such as messages with the family, etc. I don't feel like I need to be opening my phone every hour. The counterpoint to that is I'm opening my phone every hour anyway, so why not make it productive? We'll see how... We'll see how sincere that that counterpoint is. The third thing, of course, it'll make it'll it'll drastically lengthen editing time on these videos. And the idea of these videos is to be very short and snappy. I can just speak to the phone once, upload it straight to YouTube. I'm not really worried about making it look polished because I don't care. I don't care really about a polished product at the moment. I'm not trying to monetize my YouTube channel or do anything like that. This is purely for self improvement for myself um so we have to we have to wait and we have to see about that because the positives are of course that you this invisible audience keeps me accountable throughout the entire day and increases motivation i i 
I don't have the opportunity in the back of my mind to just sit on my bed for a couple of hours and piss a day that piss away the day and then act eight hours later when I'm doing my vlogmas act as if that didn't happen like you will start to get me get to know me a lot better and you will probably keep me accountable for, for longer parts of the day um and if especially if I get into a routine of videoing myself after a workout videoing myself after I've done my daily task after I've walked the dogs or etc etc whatever it may be then of course you as an audience hopefully will fall into a routine or come have a set of expectations for for me um it's a bit weird it's a bit like surveillance it's a bit like self-surveillance I'm giving YouTube my data in a sense I'm saying this is where I was today at this point this is where I was today at this point thank god we don't live in a police state eh was that ironic do we live in a police state? Yes, we do. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, I'm I'm going to do a trial run. I'm going to see how successful it is. I'm not going to do it tomorrow because tomorrow I've, I've got work for half the day and I want to be reading a lot tomorrow. So it's not going to be that interesting anyway. Um, however, I will trial it for four days from Thursday to Sunday and we'll see how it goes. It might be, it might be a success. Those four days might be the most, the, the best and most productive four days I've ever had in my life. Or I will, it'll, it'll sharply increase my phone use. Although it's, it's difficult to imagine how my phone use could increase anymore at this point, but I don't want to tempt fate. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Other than that, I haven't done my meditation yet today, so I'm going to do that and then just do some reading and then go to bed. Um, yeah, so we'll see. The run felt good, by the way. I've just I, I I nearly sacked it off. I really nearly sacked it off, and then I was like, "It's now or never. It's getting dark." I usually what I usually do is I run in the woods next to my house, and right down the other side of this woods, in a rather remote spot that doesn't see a lot of traffic, there's quite a steep hill, and that's where I do hill sprints. So. As a warm up, I run to the hill, then I do hill sprints as the main event of the exercise, and then I'll kind of jog back as like a cool down or whatever. That's always been my my thing. However, because it was getting slightly dark, and because this place is literally just a remote little hill in the middle of the woods, and it looks kind of like roguey even during the day, I was like, look, there's no way I'm. I'm I'm running to this place in the middle of the night plus also because it's summer and it's long nights you get a lot of midges about and you can avoid the midges if you're always moving but as soon as I stop to like have rest in between my sets of the hill sprints I was just going to get bitten to fuck like I knew I'll just get bitten all the time um, they say that midges are attracted to the carbon dioxide that you breathe out so if you stay in a one location breathing out like in a summery field or whatever, midges are going to be attracted. Um, but of course, if you're always moving on a run, in theory, that should never happen. And I haven't actually been bit, or at least I haven't found a, a bite on me yet. So, success. And the run was good because I didn't actually measure it out, but I would guesstimate it was between three and four kilometres. Probably closer to four kilometers than three, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. It was definitely definitely at least three, more than three anyway. Um, which may not sound like a lot, but I've never been a cardio person, and today was a success because I did that entire run without taking a break. Um, I've done that route before, the route I took this evening, and um, I would do like two kilometers, walk for like five hundred meters basically as a break and then run the rest of it but of course the danger of that is is that your muscles seize up you get more exhausted your motivation for the second half of the run dips so i was like you know what i'm feeling fine this feels good i'm just getting into the swing of things don't stop now i just ran all the way through it and it felt really good to have... honestly i think that's the longest i've ever run in my life in my entire life without taking a break or without reducing my pace to a walking pace which I think is really like that's an achievement for me. I didn't actually realize the scale of that achievement until I actually said it out loud just now. Like I've never run that far in my life. That's crazy. Without taking a break. So hey ho, 
well, now you know what I have to do. I have to extend that run. I have to keep going and upping the distance. Um, so, yeah, I didn't get a lot productive done either today or yesterday because tired from work, getting up really early. I'm napping in the afternoon, which is a terrible, terrible habit. Um, but I generally feel good. It's probably the endorphins coming off because I've just done a lot of exercise. Um, but... Uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm making progress. Maybe it is because I'm still doing daily meditation, I'm doing fitness, I'm doing this. It feels like I haven't lost that much momentum. And I think this week is going to be fairly good for productivity. I feel it in my bones. Um, hopefully I'll prove myself right using Vlogmas. And as I say, from Thursday, I'll be taking my phone out throughout the day and videoing myself, my progress throughout the day. And hopefully that'll increase my accountability and I won't waste large chunks of the day to just phone use. Um, I think Wednesday night I might make some routines for myself so I can share, share it with you and you can follow along and be like, oh, okay, he's doing this. And if it's a success, perhaps I can get a fellowship who also copies my habits or copies my routine and schedule, etc. Okay, cool. Nice talking to you, phone. Um, I'm surprised at how comfortable I am speaking to a camera i've tried it in the past and it was terrible maybe because that camera was a dslr and it looked a little bit more intimidating but um i feel fine talking to you and i thought i was going to have to build up some sort of uh on screen presence which will naturally get better over time anyway i mean i'm not saying it's good now but it's better than i thought it would be i thought i'd be stuttering i thought i'd be doing retakes but the general format of the show because it's so relaxed it generally feels quite sincere and nice, so I don't. I'm, I'm not self-conscious, except of course about my breathing. I don't notice when I have a sharp intake of breath. Um, I've just had a notification saying that my storage is running out. So have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow, day ten.